Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to make uh, right turns and go around the island. Welcome to Traveling with a Chair. We're going to take you on our journeys as my wife travels with her wheelchair. We're going to visit a lot of exciting destinations. And along the way, we're going to do some trip planning, do some equipment reviews. I know you're going to enjoy your time on the channel, but for now, here's the video. Let's see what's uh, here. I'm going to try to actually visit everything that you can see and do on the island. Over to the right, there's a, uh, a service road, but it's not for pedestrians. Look at the flowers. Some, you know, landscaping is really pretty coming in. I'm going to go up here and I'm actually going to go to the information booth and see if we can get a map. There, uh, it, just Restrooms. as you come into the port on the left side, there are bathrooms available there. So if you're coming in off the ship, as soon as you get in the gate, there are restrooms available. We're going to try to look at all of what's here. I'm going to go to the information booth and see if we can get a, uh, a map. Let's start with that. And just as you come in here on the right. Okay, so now we're armed with a map. And uh, somewhere during the course of this video, I'll actually put the map up so that you can look at it. We may talk a little bit. So as we come onto the island, you know, we're going to focus on the right side. So there's our, our map, or a uh, direction board tells you which way to go. And we're going to start off uh, toward the pool area. But again, we're going to make, try to go to the right hand side of the maze. So our first thing is we have the um, Moho Chocolate Company. Chocolate factory and it's a gift shop. So we're going to go inside and take a quick look and see what's here. Hi. How are you? Good. Oh, we'll try some chocolate, yeah. So are we making chocolate today? No. So we're still in the... Um, chocolate shop and you can see on the right side there that's actually a pod uh, of coke of, of chocolate inside that pod will be the seeds that get crushed and they extract the cocoa from they have a variety of uh, body oils in here and you can see the body oils are ten dollars and there's uh, copal oil which they said is good for uh, bites and scars and things they have chocolate soap and coffee soap so a variety of things, and you can see the There's actually a uh, cocoa butter shaving kit, um, loofahs, blow. Um, take a look over here and see what's on the on the shelf. So they have chai and hot chocolate, you can get roasted cocoa beans or the cocoa powder, um, they have roasted cocoa nibs that are available, uh, a Kahlua mix, <laughs> those are some of the things. And then they have a big variety of uh, chocolate bars and free ch chocolate samples. Chocolate bars are $7, 3 for 20 or 5 for 30 And there are quite a variety of, uh, quite a variety. They have dark chocolate with coffee, salt and lime, almonds. They had uh, one that I liked that has uh, chili in it. It was really pretty good. Okay, so we came out of the coconut, excuse me, out of the cocoa shop or the chocolate factory thing. And now we're, uh, we have a place where they do rum and coconut. So we 
see individuals here uh, trimming off uh, the coconuts, and taking off part of the husk, and you can get a drink made with it. They, and they have t-shirts so you can get rum and coconut. So you would put the rum in the coconut and drink it all up. <laughs> Coming back that way. The next shop, uh, again, I'm staying on the right side, is the Belizean Collection. And as we go in, we can see that they've got uh, has some pictures, some very pretty uh, pictures. Uh, they're a dollar for the post pictures or postcards. Inside a, a, a good selection of different kinds of t shirts. And, Printed. Has some after sun lotion. They have trinkets starting at uh, five dollars and go up. They have a little bit of uh, a little bit of everything. Almost a little bit of a drugstore. You need a pregnancy test. They have one here. I guess they think the ship life is pretty romantic. And a uh, very nice collection of, of curios and souvenirs. There's some lighthouses and a variety of uh, different things, handbags. Okay. They take uh, credit cards only, no cash. Um, some snow globes. There's some co Hi. coffee cups, a variety of all kinds of, of, of things uh, from Made in Belize that you can take with take for souvenirs to take home. In our case, we're not souvenir people. We're cleaning our house out, not adding to it. So we're going to continue our tour around the island here to the right. Now, after we come out of that shop, off to the right, we start to come up on the pool and beach areas. So we'll go along there and take a look at them. And there's really quite a bit of activity and, and places to go and, and um, things that you can do here. Uh, it looks like the, um, I forgot to ask about the beach wheelchairs. We'll keep looking for those. Pretty typical pool rules. Definitely no shortage of loungers. Of course, today being a less than a stellar day for beach and pools, there's not a lot of activity. And they do have cabanas that you can rent here by the pool. They also have lockers for you. And like everywhere else on this cruise, no shortage of places to find a beverage. So we're just going to go on around the right side of the pool. Well, this side of the pool is about uh, three foot four inches deep. Um, out toward the middle, it's, it does get deeper. So we'll go all the way around the pool and we'll look at the beach. Let's slide up here and take a quick look at the pool cabana. There's one that's open. So we can go up here and get a quick idea of what they're like. So you got a, a pretty nice couch. Some uh, towel, uh, terry cloth covered loungers, a chair, table. Again, nice area. Not right on the on the beach. One thing that they have done a really good job with here is there's lots of shade. Almost all the areas where there's loungers, at least by the pool, have umbrellas overhead to provide shade so that uh, you're not getting completely roasted. 
This is a gradual entry for a place for the kids to play and it's got some bubblers and things to make it uh, more enticing probably for toddlers. And another beverage station. They do have um, they have a special of the day, and they take a visa and cash at the bar. We're gonna go over here and slide up uh, at least along the edge of the beach. See a little island out there in the far distance. What we find is um, here at the beach, we have kind of a mix of uh, loungers that have shade uh, with them, have beach umbrellas and loungers that are in the shade of the palm trees. They also have uh, these clam shells that hold two of uh, two individuals, or yeah. two loungers, let's say, anyway. And I know they're available. I'll, I'll find the pricing for them. There's a whole row of them. That's just my theory. There are people out in the, in the water today, even when it's as cool as it is. Not sure we'll get to the water today. Kind of along the, the back side of the pool area. You have your choice real easily. You can have a beach and salt water or you can have a freshwater pool. I'm going to jog back up by the pool. The beach wraps all, all the way around the this little bay that we're in, there are um, lifeguards uh, all along, and if you're a volleyball point fan, uh, a lot of volleyball uh, nets so that you can keep yourselves occupied. There are uh, showers and uh, places where you can wash the sand off your shoes, which is obviously really nice. Now we're coming up on the uh, back up on the pool and we're right by the land shark grill and the pool looks like the deepest marker I see is about four foot and it's not a lap pool but there are places enough space to swim and a lot of places you could have a good time with. we're gonna see if we can slide along here here's the land shark restaurant it's a two-story restaurant um, so you can uh, it's a Jiminy Buffett uh, collaboration um, it's interesting that what we see over here is we see uh, an area to sit and have drinks uh, with little stools that are underwater and little uh, tables like high tops and we see a uh, swim up bar so if you're swimming and you get thirsty, there is a bar you can swim up to and, and get a drink. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> this is uh, going along the end of the uh, bar and restaurant. Let's see if I can find a seat in here a moment. Can get in on that entrance. Now we're on the other side of the pool, and um, we're away from the beach, and we're just going to continue our journey uh, along the where the, all the main shops are. We'll come back to the beach a little later. Yeah. One thing that they do have here that probably is really nice 
when the weather's a little warmer is they have fans all around the area where uh, they can create a breeze when there isn't a breeze. You can hear the music in the background from the land chart. They have some roads that are set aside just for the golf carts so that when they're shuttling you around you can get from where you need to go. place called Meetup. They do breakfast burritos and quesadillas and uh, fajitas. Prices are not bad. Range from $10 for shrimp on a stick with a tortilla uh, down to $4 for a Johnny Cake. They have chili dog specials and chili bean nachos also. So if you didn't have something to eat on the ship or you get hungry afterwards, you have a place that you can come and get you know, inexpensive food. So the question of the day is what is your favorite destination? Do me a favor, put it in the comments right down here below and uh, join the community. I hope you enjoyed today's video. It's just one of many to come that'll take you to some very exciting destinations and have some very informative content. If you'd like to see the rest of them, go ahead and subscribe. And if you liked today's video, please go ahead and hit the like button. We look forward to seeing you next time.